So as a one-time mechanical engineer working on problems in the nuclear energy space, I know what the impact on the world there is. And you mentioned you're driven by working on hard problems that you know will have an impact on the world. So in the context of nuclear energy, it's clean energy, it's a better environment, and maybe it gives this planet more runway to survive. When it comes to your next move into space industry, I also got a glimpse of the impact there, right? It's exploration and maybe over time, this human species leaving this planet and going into other places. But then as we talk about Web3 then, what's the impact here? What's the impact on humanity? What's the problem that if this is solved, leaves the world in a better place? The short form answer, it levels the playing field and creates an equal opportunity for everyone, no matter your background, where you are on the planet, who you are, who your history is equal opportunity level playing field. Now, a long form answer, of course, you know, this is can be very philosophical if you want to, um, but we live in a very highly social civilization and every aspect of our lives relies heavily on contractual agreements between ourselves, between our neighbors, our communities, our governments, businesses, service providers, everything is based on some form of agreement or contract, whether it's formal or informal. And these structures are the fuel that drives our lives, drives society and drives the progression of humankind forward. So when you form the contract, for example, with a government, you pay your taxes and in exchange, you get protection of life, liberties, freedoms, whatever, you name it. That's the contractual agreement between yourself and the government. Um, when you do that with your job, you make a contract. I will show up from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. I will dedicate my energy, time, creativity, and resources to develop, I don't know, a piece of software to do something that will benefit some community. In exchange, I will get money or I will get recognition. Or if you're a researcher, I will get publications on the paper. So with, without these structures in place, there will be no progress. Society will essentially collapse because we're built on these structures. Everything will ground to a halt. So the, the key, I think this is the key to understanding and believing first and foremost, the importance of Web3 and DeFi in general. So when you ask, you know, why would I move to Web3 or why would I make this pivot? Well, because the status quo today is failing, failing hard, actually. These structures are unreliable. Uh, and they don't serve everyone fairly. They don't serve everyone equally. And the field is completely irregular and it favors the massively wealthy and favors the massively powerful members of our societies. They can skew these contracts and agreements to benefit themselves and leave the less fortunate at the mercy of the failing system itself. So you find yourself having hope and praying that these agreements will work when you need them to. Well, blockchain tech and Web3 in general changes this entire paradigm because suddenly you're leveraging cryptographic guarantees, permissionless, open, decentralized systems that guarantees that when you need a system to work for you, it will work. There's no counterparty risk. There's no risk involved. It's all there for you to see. You can read and audit the code or the blockchain before you actually enter an agreement. And it's guaranteed mathematically that it will work all the time. And, and this is why I'm really excited about it because it's a, it's a new paradigm in how we can interact with each other. And because of that, the world is at the precipice of change. There's a, there's a big new era that we're just at the forefront of. That's why I came.